The American Geophysical Union held its first ever science policy conference in May 2012. The two-day event, held at the Ronald Reagan Building, an international trade center in Washington, D.C., provided an opportunity for scientists, policymakers, and other stakeholders to have meaningful discussions about Earth and space science topics that address challenges to our environment, economy, national security, and public safety. The inaugural event brought in over 300 attendees representing more than 14 countries, including congressional staff, members of the Executive Office of the President, industry professionals, researchers, students, and members of the press. Everyone who's been here has been coming up and saying this was a much needed role for an organization like AGU to be a convener and bring together these communities that often don't talk to each other in an in-depth way. The two-day event included three plenaries and four session tracks covering oceans, natural hazards, natural resources, and the Arctic-related topics. Day one of the conference opened with a plenary on governance, security, economy, and the ecosystem of the changing Arctic. And day two began with a plenary on the UN Convention of the Law of the Sea. The closing plenary focused on science and the 21st century. During the nearly 20 concurrent sessions, attendees heard presentations on such topics as energy development in the Arctic, decreasing the economic toll of natural disasters, ocean acidification, coastal management, and agriculture and food security. Policy-relevant research was also showcased during the event's poster sessions, which included nearly 100 posters. Uh, we have established a, uh, a network, we've taken a first step, and we want to build on that momentum to take us further down the path of a more direct and active engagement in the policy process. Attendees were also invited to participate in a reception on Capitol Hill where AGU honored the inaugural recipients of its Presidential Citation for Science and Society, as well as a congressional briefing that covered water quality issues in the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico. And, preceding the conference, AGU held a science communication workshop, which offered attendees the chance to gather valuable communications tips from members of the press, Capitol Hill staff, and other communication professionals. Join us next year for the second annual AGU Science Policy Conference as the world's largest organization of Earth and space scientists again gathers an eminent group of researchers, government representatives, NGOs, and other stakeholders to discuss how scientific knowledge can be used to address the environmental, economic, national security, and public safety challenges we face.